Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Will Smith, he's very famous, right? Like he's an A-list celebrity, whatever that really means. But he's very popular. Most people know him around the world. And I will say this again, because some people might miss this point. I don't hate Will Smith. I don't hate the people featured on this channel. I love them enough to want them to go to heaven, but I can't force them to do this. I want them to come out of the world and to follow Jesus Christ, pick up their cross, become a real born-again Christian. I, I would love that for Will Smith. Most of us grew up, or not most of us, but I grew up watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I thought that show was very good at the time. I, I really enjoyed it. Most people who've seen that show can sing the whole theme song. I'm one of those people. I can sing the whole theme song. So again, I, I know a lot of people that, you know, aren't awake at all. And when I say awake, you guys know what I mean. The, the scales have been removed from my eyes by God. That's a big thing. And saying awake sometimes sounds maybe like the whole woke thing and the new age awakening, right? But this is always from a Christian perspective. So Will Smith, he's doing one eye symbolism here. He's successful in this fallen world, so he's got the sign of success on his hand, which is 666. It's not A-OK. -okay. This one finger in the circle make a six. Second finger in a circle make a six. Third finger in a circle make three sixes. Here he is, hiding his hand in his shirt, the way a Freemason would do. Here he is, he posts on his social media, he's got his third eye open, and he says, Namaste. What goes along with the third eye? And again, there's other researchers that do this kind of stuff. I would like there to be more researchers that do this stuff, but the third eye and the eye of Horus, they seem to go right hand in hand. So when we see the one eye symbolism all the time, and the eye of Horus and all that, it goes along with the third eye. Right? These people think they have enlightenment, that they're illuminated, right? Illuminati, illumination. But it's the false light of Lucifer. It's deception from Satan, the father of lies, who deceives the whole world. And it's also the pride of humanity to pose like this, right? They're all in this secret special club that most of the world doesn't understand or research about. So again, along with the third eye seems to go the mudra of enlightenment, a mudra is a gesture taken from yoga. No one should do yoga. It's satanic. And I know some people will laugh at that. But if you do your research, you find out that you're doing demonic poses. The whole idea of yoga, yoga means yoked with Brahma, the, the Hindu deity creator God, which is just a demon, right? I, like, I don't believe they're real. They're just, they're just images, right? They're statues and paintings of them. They're just a, a graven image. They're... Um, but I think there could be spirits behind those, familiar spirits, demons, fallen angels, that give some of that power. In the New Age, a lot of people do channeling, where they meditate in a way to let something come into them, possess them, and they get information, like, like knowledge that seems that some of it will be true. Satan, Satan is confusing because he will tell some truth, but he'll mix it up with lies all the time. God didn't really say that, did he? That kind of thing. So Will Smith is doing a mudra here, the Uttara Bodhi mudra. It's my favorite one because it shows what humanity is, that we're very prideful, well, a lot of us are. And he believes he has enlightenment. That goes along with the third eye, right? Illumination, enlightenment. The, the enlightenment mudra, Uttara Bodhi mudra, means in supreme enlightenment, but it's not. He's also doing it here on a magazine cover. He's hanging out talking to an astronaut, right? Perpetuating fake space. And here he is on the international fake, I mean, space station, right? I can't stand lies, so I don't like this picture here, right? It's deceiving people. Live from the International Fake Station, right, brothers and sisters? So once more, I don't hate Will Smith. I thought he was pretty funny in Fresh Prince. I would love him to know Jesus Christ and to go to heaven. But these celebrities, they need to give up their lives, basically, and follow Jesus Christ. It's a humble thing. The industries of the world are not run by Jesus Christ. They are run by Satan and the Freemasons, and we live in a biblical world. Believe it or not, 
I'm trying to show that every day by showing signs, symbols, and agendas that are clearly antichrist. Jesus Christ does not need us to pose in certain ways, and he doesn't want us taking part in satanic agendas. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.